hi and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Buki Sheila I'm a pattern dressmaker from Nigeria in today's video I'll be showing you how to draft a dartless bodice pattern so a dartless bodice pattern is a pattern without any dart and you could make a lot of different styles with it example is like what I am wearing right now a jumper sweatshirt and many other styles that don't require that and to draft this pattern you need the following tools a pattern paper your rulers a pencil and of course a measuring tape and these are the measurements required to draft this pattern so your neck measurement bust nip to waist waist to hip which is hip depth your back width arm sky waist circumference hip circumference and your shoulder measurement so i will quickly run you through on how to take this measurement on my dress form so here i have my dress form and the first measurement on the list is the neck measurement so please note i'm using centimeters okay so to take your neck measurement you place your tip just like this with one one finger in between just like this so this is how to take your neck measurement the next measurement on the list is the bust measurement so this dress form is bust 92 and i am bust 86 so i'm just going to show you how to take the measurement this is how to take your bust measurement make sure the measurement is firm and you want to have one finger in between this is to add ease to the measurement so the next measurement is the nip to waist measurement so this is taken from the nip of the neck to the deepest part of the waistline like on your back so this part of your back you have the deepest point that is your waist your nip to waist measurement so for me is 38 cm next measurement is our back width which is also half back this is how you take the measurement from the armpit point of your arm to the other side just like this so mine is 36 cm and the next measurement is the hip depth measurement so from your natural waistline to your hip point which is the deep, the, the fullest part of the hip so mine is 22 cm and it's usually 22 cm for like uh, I think average height but if you're on the like the taller side it should be around 22 to 25 cm so that's for the e depth the next measurement on the list is the arm sky so the arm sky is taken from the blade of the shoulder down to your like your underarm point so mostly a dartless bodies you normally make you usually make um things like sweatshirt jumper and so on so you want the measurement to be free on the hand point just like this so i'll be working with 24 cm i'll be working with 24 cm so this is how to take it the measurement and the next measurement is the waist measurement which is the waist circumference the the tiniest part of your waist this is how to take the measurement with one finger in inside and next is the hip measurement so you want to take it the same way with one finger inside and this time you want to make sure the tip can move downward and upward you know 
through the bomb so this is how to take and the last measurement on the list is the shoulder measurement this is taking from the the nape of the neck to the shoulder blade just like this so this is how to take the measurements and now let's jump into the pattern making so i will quickly repeat the hip measurements thank god i checked the video before moving forward so the hip measurement i took wasn't showing so i'm just going to quickly take it again so let's just start from the waist so the waist is you take from your natural waistline which is the tiniest part of your waist and you want to have one finger in between this is to add ease next is the hip measurement so the same way just the fullest part of the hip and with one finger in between making sure the tip goes up and down above your bum just like this and now let's take the hip depth measurement so the hip depth measurement is taken from the natural waistline to the fullest part of the hip so which falls around 22 cm for a for an average height but if you're on the taller side it should be around 22 to 25 cm so this is it for the measurements before i begin the pattern drafting please screenshot this picture so when you're drafting yours you can look at the picture to see if your lines and numbers are matching as this is the pattern and sleeve i'm about to show you how to draft now let's begin the pattern making i went ahead to write out all my measurements and divide the ones that needed to be divided into half and quarter the first thing I'll be doing is I'll measure down 5 cm from the top of the paper and I'll draw a straight line across using my ruler. Once I am done, I'll label the pattern as dartless bodies and I'll write out my point zero at the top left corner of the paper. That is where the measurement will be starting from. zero to one is nape to waist measurement plus three cm so whatever you have as your nape to waist measurement you add three cm to it and i'll draw a straight line across using my ruler Now I'll label the line as waistline and also write out one. So the lines will be labeled mostly in numbers. So we'll be going from one to two, two to just like that. So one to two is your waist to hip measurement, which is your hip depth and I'll extend the measurement across. zero to three is quarter bust plus 4.5 cm and this measurement is taken to the right like i am doing and i'll label that point as three and then i'll draw a straight line touching the waist line and mark that as four and then extend the line further downward to the hip line and that will be five so i have number three at the top line the waistline i have number four and on the hip line i have number five zero to six is two cm down so i'm just going to mark and label the point as six next six to seven is arm sky depth 
plus 4 cm. So my arm sky depth is 20 cm plus 4 cm that gives me 24 cm. So from 6 I'll measure 24 cm down and that point becomes 0.7 and I'll extend the 0.7 line to touch the 3 and 4 line and label the point as 8. Next, 6 to 9 is half the measurement 6 to 7. So whatever you have from 6 to 7, you mark half of it and that becomes 0 0.9. And I'll extend the measurement to touch the 3 and 4 line. Next, 6 to 10 is quarter the measurement 6 to 9 minus 0 0.25 cm. So whatever you have on 6 to 9, you divide the measurement by 4 and take out 0 0.25 cm and that point becomes 0 0.10. I'll extend the measurement out by drawing a straight line but this time around the line would not be touching the 3 and 4 line. The next measurement will be taken to the right. 0 to 11 is 1 fifth neck measurement plus 0 0.4 cm. So whatever you have as your neck measurement, you want to divide it by 5 and use 1 part plus 0 0.4 cm. So my neck measurement is 40. 40 divided by 5 is 8. 8 plus 0 0.4, that gives me 8.4 cm. So from 0, I'll measure to the right 8.4 cm and that becomes 0.11 once that is done, next will be to draw out the back neck curve by connecting 11 to point 0.6 using my French curve. Next, 7 to 12 is half back width plus 2.5 cm. So on the 7 line, I'm going to measure half of my back width, which is 18 plus 2.5. That gives me 20.5 and that point becomes 0.12. And I'll extend the measurement upward to line 9 and mark that as 0.13. And further up to line 10 and that will be 0.14. So I'm just going to extend the line 10 out to touch the 20.5 so I can have a straight line and I'll draw a straight line upward from that point. Now I'm just labeling the point as 13 and 14 and next will be 14 to 15 so 14 to 15 is 1.5 cm out i'm just going to mark draw the line and label the point as 15 and now it's time to draw the back shoulder line so i'll be connecting 11 to 15 using my ruler and this is it for the back we're just left with the armor curve we'll be drawing the back armor curve together with the front one and now let's move to the front. So the front and back is on the same pattern, okay? 0 to 16 is 1 fifth neck measurement plus 0 0.4 cm. So from 0, I'll measure 8.4 cm downward. And next is to connect the front neck curve. So I will be connecting 11 to 16 using my French curve. Next, 13 to 17 is 0 0.75 cm inward. So I'll mark 0 0.75 cm and that point becomes 0 0.17. And next is to draw a line of 0 0.75 cm below the line squared out from point 10. So as you can see on the picture from the middle of the line, mark 0 0.75 cm downward and extend the line to be same and parallel to point 15 and you should also screenshot this picture because the lines and numbers are clearer and as you draft you can always check to see if you are on track with the pattern making
next 11 to 18 is same as 11 to 15 so to get 18 points i will measure what i have from 11 to 15 and i'll take the same measurement from 11 to get 18 points on the line i just drew at so as you can see on the picture 18 is just below 15 on the line i just drew at and now i will draw the front shoulder line by connecting 11 to 18 and this is it for the front now it's time to draw the armor curve for both the front and the back to get the front armor curve i'll place my curve and connect from 18 through 17 to 8 so from 18 to 17 and to 8 that's for the front armor curve and for the back is from 15 through 13 to 8 so it's slightly the front is slightly deeper than the back that's the difference between the front armor and the back armor so once this is done we are done with the pattern if you want to shape the pattern it is completely optional so you just measure what you have on the waistline and on the hip line and compare it to your actual measurement and take the SS out from the side but for this pattern I'm not going to be shaping it because it's a dartless bodice pattern and I will mostly likely make like free stuff with it like sweater and other stuff and I'm going to be giving you a bonus which would be the sleeve so on the side of the paper I will be taking you on how to draft a sleeve for a dartless bodice pattern to use this pattern you trace out either the front or the back of the pattern on a separate paper so you can have them separately and for the sleeve you need your sleeve length and the sleeve width so i will be drafting the sleeve on the other part of the paper and i'll be using the red marker so you don't get confused on the line i already extended to the end of the paper so the first thing i will do is to measure what i have on my armor on both the front and the back and i'll write the measurement down before starting the pattern making of the sleeve And now on the sleeve making, point zero will be on the top right corner. I'll write that out as that will be where the measurements will start from. Zero to one is half the measurement six to seven on the body's block plus one cm. So I'm just checking what I have on six to seven and I'll mark the measurement on the sleeve plus one cm and that becomes point one. And I would draw a line across to the left. So where I just mark one is the center line of the sleeve. So when cutting, it will be unfold on that part so you can have the full sleeve. Next, 0 to 2 is sleeve length plus 1 cm. So from 0, I'll measure my sleeve length plus 1 cm and that becomes 0.2 next zero to three is the measurement of arm sky from 15 to 8 so that's the back arm curve i'll measure what i have from 15 to 8 and i'll take the measurement on the sleeve from point zero to meet the line i drew across from point one and that point becomes point three and now i'll draw a line from point zero to three using my ruler next two to four is to towards the measurement one to three plus 0 0.5 cm so i'll divide what i have from one to three by three and use two parts plus 0 0.5 cm so i'll mark that from two to four 
on the left and next will be to connect three to four using my ruler next divide 0 to 3 into 6 equal section so i'll check what i have from 0 to 3 and i'll divide it into 6 and then i'll mark 5 6 7 8 and 9 just like on the picture so you can see how it is marked on the picture make sure to do the same now it's time to draw the back sleeve head to do so i'll allow the curve by 0 0.5 cm at 0.5 and 1.5 cm at 0.8 and 9. once that is done i will draw the back sleeve head by connecting 0 to 6 passing through the 1.5 cm at 0.8 and 9 and then flip the curve to connect from 6 to 3 passing through the 0 0.5 cm below 0.5 now i'll draw the front sleeve head curve so at 0.5 i'll allow the curve by 0 0.75 cm and at 0.8 and 9 i will raise the curve up by 1.75 cm so the difference between both curve is 0 0.25 cm so as you can see on the picture the broken line is the front sleeve head curve why the the other line is the back curve so you can see the slight difference between both sleeve head and i'll connect like i did for the back sleeve head from zero to six and then flip the curve to connect from six to three and this is it for the sleeve head next will be to shape the sleeve now to shape the sleeve we need to get the elbow point and the elbow point is the midpoint from point one to two so i'll check and find the midpoint from one to two and then i'll mark that and draw a straight line across to the left and that becomes the elbow point and once that is done next i'll divide my sleeve width into four and then check if there is any excess on the pattern if there is any i'll take it out on the elbow point on the left and then we connect from three to the elbow point and from the elbow point to point four using a french curve or a straight ruler this depends on how you want the curve to be and this is it for the base and that's less bodies pattern and sleeve thank you so much for watching if this video has been helpful in any way don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment and i'll see you on my next video bye bye